Ah, my grandma's house. I was conceived in the living room of this house. It was a room back then. <laughs> grandma's house. I remember as a kid of four and five years old, my mom and dad and my little brother would drive up into the driveway in the afternoon, go inside, and when it was time to leave, it was pitch black night. And I, I would be amused that instead of just pulling out, back, backing up out of the driveway onto the road, we would instead go forward, past the barn, turn a curve on a path that, path that led between two fields, Fourth the back of barns and come out at the on the highway at the end. <laughs> I remember this. I I got a one time one night as I was leaving. My grandma had a desk from school. She wanted to give me. I got that desk still to this day. I remember since the summer of 1985. From the summer of 1985 to the summer of 1990, maybe 91, and even a few times up to 94, 95, even still today, I'd go to Grandma's house and we'd study the Bible. Oh, I remember the barns, those barns, that pack house in the back, behind the backyard. Grand, granddaddy, when I was four, would take me with them to pick potatoes. You can't see it, but there used to be a mule stable on the side of the barn, of the, the pack house. I remember exploring inside the barn of both floors, coming out under the, what you, I don't know what you call it, the ledge up top, battling the wasp nest getting stung one afternoon right under the eye in July of 1987. In 1999, the barns, the barn was, was too old, so they tore it and burned it down. I remember in 1993, those wonderful fields, those wonderful tobacco barns, where I had once climbed up into an oak tree and found, saw beside me a huge owl standing, not minding me being in the tree with him. It was torn down to make that, the build, erect that damn fucking trailer park. Shit ain't the same. I miss those days. When I was 12, I used to come back here, call this place my hideout. Used to wonder. Where the weeds in the woods would take me out to if I kept walking. A little over two years, no, f about f four years later, me and my cousin Casey came here, walked here after an ice storm in February of 1989. And we found a wall of briars further back. And we took a stick and we beat some trails through these, bri through these briars. In 1994, November 10th, my grandma George passed away. I was down here. I had a bush hex with me uh, with a broken handle. And since then, the fields had grown over with trees, pine trees, and I can no longer see it where the wall of briars have been, but I began blazing this trail and I felt a whole new world opening up to me. I was going to find out where these woods end, that somehow I was going to get to the end, and I finally did. I came out at St. Peter, this old Negro Spiritual Church, right here.